Hello, my lovely Leo. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. We are here today for a tarot love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And of course, for any of you lovely folks dealing with a Leo romantically. This is a timeless reading. Whenever you click into this video is when you're meant to hear the messages. But I do always like to remind you, Leo, it is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. You are more than welcome to take what works and leave the rest. Now, before we jump in, I also like to remind you that this is my very special Leo only channel. All that I do on this channel is readings for the sign of you, my lovely lions, because I love you guys and you're amazing and you're awesome. So feel free to stick around. Everybody is very, very welcome here. And uh, I'm always happy to see you guys. And I'm always looking forward to seeing what we've got going on for love. So without further ado, we're going to jump in. I'm going to start out today. We've got some romance angels energy. So we're going to pull a couple of cards and then we're going to get into the tarot. So what have we got for Leo today? What messages do we have for my lovely lions? What have we got for Leo? Ooh, first card out is an interesting one, Leo. It says, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps that you are guided to take. So here's the thing, Leo, when it comes to love right now, somebody is going to be making the effort towards you or you're going to be making the uh, effort towards somebody else. OK, this is about recognizing the value in what you have and not taking a situation for granted. So when somebody is making the effort here, it says great love is worth taking the steps that you're guided to take. <laughs> That's my kitty cat meowing. If you can hear her, that's Fiona in the background. Um, I have two cats, you guys, if you're new to my channel, they sometimes say hello. But in this case, like where it says great love, what I feel here is a recognition from somebody that there's a very special connection between the two of you, right? So this is somebody who is really just like cluing into the fact that they want you, they care about you, and they want to make the effort to show you that they're serious about you. They're serious about this connection. Now we'll see what other cards come out, Leo, because this could be somebody new who's making the effort to show you that they're really interested in you. But it could also be somebody who you already know. If you're in a partnership, this could potentially be your partner who's really trying to demonstrate through their actions that they're serious about this connection. And sometimes when this card shows up, it can be the energy of an ex or somebody who's trying to fix things with you and trying to do right by you, Leo. So we're gonna have to see what other cards come out to get a little bit more insight into this effort situation. Okay, tell me more for Leo, please. What have we got for Leo? Retreat, it is time to disconnect from the world. Okay, so here's what I see happening, Leo. It looks like somebody's gonna be making the effort to prove themselves to you. It looks like you're going to be taking some time and space to figure out, is this something that I want? Somebody is retreating from the effort that is being made. Maybe you're frustrated, maybe you're confused, maybe you're not sure what it is that you wanna do. So you're kind of like pulling back your energy a little bit here and you're like, I don't know. Maybe you feel here that somebody is coming on a little bit stronger than um, what you're comfortable with. So if this is new love, maybe somebody is really intense in terms of their focus towards you and how they're pursuing you. And you're like, I got to back off a little bit. This is a bit much for me to take. So there's an intensity here that might be throwing you off. Same thing, like let's say that this is potentially an ex who's coming back, who's realized that you're their great love and you're like, I don't know, I need to take a step back and think about what it is that you're offering me here because if this is an ex, obviously I always say an ex is an ex for a reason. Something didn't work out. Something happened here where the connection was not thriving. And so I see you here pulling back from somebody's advances towards you to take some time and space to figure out what you want to do here. Okay. Let's get one more of the romance angels and then we'll pull some tarot. Let's get one more. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Okay. Here's the thing, Leo. Somebody here is making a big declaration of love. Like I said, take it as it connects. It could be whoever you're dealing with romantically or, you know, it could be you, right? Maybe you're the one who's trying to get somebody back and you're expressing your feelings. You're making the effort. You're trying to demonstrate that you want them. But what I see is like somebody is really moving forward and taking action towards you. There's an energy of 
I need to make a move now. I need to show Leo that I'm serious. I need to show Leo that I wanna be with them. And so they're gonna be actually expressing and telling you how they've been feeling, what they want, what they desire within this connection. And so there could be a situation right now, Leo, where you have to respond to somebody who's making effort towards you and somebody who is declaring their love. Like I said, this could just be brand new love, somebody coming towards you who's like super into you and, and just maybe a little bit too intense. <laughs> um, but for others of you, it does feel like somebody is now realizing they need to make the effort. And what I'm hearing as I say that, Leo, is they either need to make the effort because they're realizing they could lose you if they don't step it up, or the other thing that I'm getting is they're making the effort because they have already lost you, and now they realize what they lost and they're trying to make amends, okay? You hear my cat, Fiona? What are you doing? <laughs> My cat's very vocal today. She's like, I've got a lot to say about this, Leo. Okay, let's use um, Crystal Visions Tarot. Let's get some tarot on this for Leo, please. What have we got for Leo? What have we got? Oh, okay. What is that? Oh, okay, guys. Um, hold on. I'm going to cover it up a little bit. Uh, let's see. Uh, we've got the devil energy. I'm covering it up, Leo, because... Um, YouTube has taken issue <laughs> with some of the tarot decks that I use, in particular the imagery. So I'm trying to be a little bit more careful with which specific images I show. It just seems to be uh, specific cards that YouTube has an issue with, so I'm trying to watch out for that within my decks. The devil card seems to be problematic. So I'm not going to show you the imagery, um, but I will do this to show you we have got that devil energy showing up underneath Make the Effort, okay? So let's break down what could be going on here. The devil energy tends to represent something toxic. The devil energy tends to represent something that is unhealthy. And so what I see here is that there is a connection where there has been an unhealthy dynamic between you and this person. And like, like I said, you could be in separation from this person. You might still be with them, but the two of you are struggling. You're trying to figure out what are the next steps within this connection but there is something that is unhealthy within the partnership between the two of you. And like I said, if this is new love, it honestly feels a little obsessive with that devil energy. It does feel like this person could be coming on just way too strongly. It's like, that's too much, you know? I think we all want to be loved and desired, but sometimes it is too much and it can kind of freak us out. And so this person I think is having trouble kind of managing something that feels like a bit of an unhealthy tendency in their approach. Now, if this is somebody who you're dealing with or somebody who you're in separation from, obviously there is some sort of bad habit. There is something toxic going on here. And so they're trying to make the effort to deal with whatever this toxic issue is between the two of you. So I do think that they're trying to figure out, can we work through this? Can we work past this? But obviously you've got concerns because they're coming in and trying to demonstrate through their actions that they want to be with you. And you're like, but what about all of this devil energy? What about this unhealthy shit that's gone on in the relationship? And so this is very present. And so even though this person might be coming in and making like a grand declaration of love, you're like, okay, well, that's all well and good for you to make this declaration, but it doesn't erase the fact that there has been some really tough stuff that has happened in this connection. So let's see, let's keep going here. Tell me more for Leo, please. Tell me more. The star. I'm not surprised to see that, you guys. Okay, so here's the thing. The star card is about healing. It's about wanting to make amends and it's about trying to step into this energy of feeling hopeful and optimistic for the future. And so this person is really desiring healing. And I'm going to say now that we have the star card, to me, this is strongly indicating that this is somebody where there has been some sort of pain caused within this relationship. Like I think there's a history here because in order to have the star energy, in order to have healing energy, something needs to have been uh, broken, right? And so this person is coming in basically saying, Leo, you know, I want to make this right. I want to fix this. I want to heal this. Maybe they're saying, I want to make all your dreams come true with that star energy. And what they're offering here is an opportunity for the two of you to fix what is broken. But again, I think you're looking at this with the retreat energy because the star card here 
is right underneath the retreat card and you're like, you're gonna have to give me time and space to think about what I wanna do here, okay? Now, here's the other thing that I'm picking up on. For those of you where this is new love, Maybe this new love is coming in after a bad breakup and you're wondering, am I ready? So maybe that's why it's feeling a little bit intense. I'm just giving another option here for those of you who are not connecting with this as belonging to an ex. Like maybe you went through a bad breakup, you've been trying to heal, this new energy is coming in, but maybe you're still in the process of healing from your past and you're feeling like a little uncomfortable with the attention that you're getting from this new person and you're starting to realize like maybe I need to do a little bit more healing, maybe I need to do a little bit more work on myself before I'm ready to open up because maybe your reaction to this person, maybe you feeling uncomfortable by their advances is signaling something to you about your readiness to date. It could be that they're too intense, but it could also be that maybe they're not actually that intense, but you're uncomfortable with the attention because there's still some stuff that you need to heal, okay? What else have we got for Leo? What else have we got for Leo? The moon. That's interesting, you guys, okay? The moon tends to represent something hidden. Now we do have the moon energy showing up underneath express your love, okay? And so it could be that this person has been sitting on these hidden feelings for you for a while and been wondering, should I say something? Should I make a move? Should I approach Leo? Should I shoot my shot? You know what I mean? Um, but there's also, I feel a little bit of a concern with the moon energy about, can I trust this? Am I seeing everything? Am I seeing the whole situation? And so there might be concerns here about whether or not you're getting the full picture and whether or not you have all the information that you need. And with the moon card underneath express your love, maybe this represents you wanting this person to really explain themselves, wanting to, um, you know, like I could see you trying to really dig into this with them, Leo, and asking a lot of questions where you're like, I need all the information. I really need you to answer my questions. Like if we're going to consider reconciliation, if this is indeed something that you're thinking about, Leo, I think you're like, I need all the facts. I need all the information. I need you to be brutally honest with me. And if there's any area where you're feeling just a little uncomfortable and you feel like you're not getting the full picture, I think that you're gonna pull back, right? And so you're gonna be hyper aware of anything that doesn't sit right and any sort of area where you're feeling like, I don't know if this person is giving me all the information that I need. But like I said, it could just be that this person has had secret feelings for you for a while and now they're finally expressing it. It could be that as well. Tell me more for Leo. The Nine of Cups, okay. Interesting, very interesting, Leo, to have the Nine of Cups and the Star. Both of these cards, to me, have an element of dreams coming true. And I feel like what's happening is that this person who's making the effort and this person who's expressing the love, it's like they're gonna be saying to you, Leo, I wanna make all of your dreams come true. I wanna fix this, I wanna make you happy. I wonder a little bit, because we've got the star and the nine of cups, but also the devil, I worry if maybe there's a little bit of that like fantasy energy here where this person can make a lot of big declarations of love. But for me, words are one thing, but actions are the most important because I think like we can say anything. I could say anything to you. You could say anything to me. Like words are just words. They don't mean much. This is just my personal opinion, you guys, um, just based on like my experience. It's like, it doesn't really matter to me so much anymore what people say. What matters to me more is the actions they take. Do their actions align with their words? And I feel like this person is making you a lot of big promises. They're really trying to sell themselves to you, Leo. They're really trying to paint a picture of this dream life that the two of you can have. But I think you'll need to see action. That's what I would be watching out for here. Like are their actions aligning with the promises they're making? Tell me more for Leo. The lovers. Wow. Okay. I mean, they obviously have very strong love for you. Whoever is coming towards you is highly motivated to be in a relationship with you, Leo. Okay. 
Now with the lover's card, it definitely indicates having a choice to make. It's like, do I go in this direction? Do I go in that direction? And what I see is that this person is declaring their love to you and they're hoping more than anything that you're going to accept this offer that they are making to you. They love you though. So I will say, Leo, when they say they love you, I do think they love you or like at least genuinely believe that they are in love with you. They're highly motivated to fix this with you. Okay, what else? Tell me more for Leo. The Fool, a new beginning, right? I'm just gonna say here, Leo, we've got six tarot cards so far. Five of them are major arcana. This is big energy. Whenever I get a lot of major arcana within a reading, I feel like it indicates that significant changes are happening. So this whole decision around whether or not you want to be with this person, it kind of feels like a little bit of a life-changing decision. And I don't mean that to sound so big and dramatic, but because there is all of this major arcana, it's going to be a big choice that you have to make, okay? So the choice you're making here is, will you take a leap of faith with this person? Because this person is like, Leo, trust me, give me a chance. Like I said, if this is new love, you could be deciding whether or not you want to take that leap of faith. Or if this is somebody coming back, it's a chance to fix things or try things again. But you're going to have to decide, do you want to take that leap? What is the potential outcome? I'm like, what do I want to do here? What is the potential outcome here between Leo and this person? The Emperor. Another major arcana, you guys, okay? Tell me more. What is the potential outcome here? The death card. That's about an ending, okay? Another major arcana. This is intense. Oh, what is that? Oh, you know what fell on the ground? The Empress. <laughs> I'm not going to pick it up, Leo. Um, but the Empress has fallen on the ground. So this is actually quite significant because we've got the Emperor... And then in the middle there, we've got the death card and then we've got the empress following it, okay? So there is this, something is ending, but I also feel like there's a divine pair here with the emperor and the empress. And it's interesting though, because I'm like, oh, should I pick up? Okay, I'll pick up the card, you guys, because I actually want to show it. I hate when like my cards fall on the ground and then I have to like crawl under my table. There you guys go. There's the Empress. It's so annoying when I have to like crawl under like my table and get the card for you. But anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what I think is going on here, okay? Oh my gosh, now I gotta, I gotta readjust my seat here, Leo. There we go. All right, there we go. So I wanna show you this because visually, I feel like it's significant, okay? So in the outcome here, we've got the emperor and the empress, but the significant thing that is standing out to me is that in between them is the death card. There is an ending in between. So these two are not showing up beside each other. They're showing up with something dividing them. And when you look at the empress energy, it, you can see here the empress is actually looking away. Can you see how she's like not looking in the same direction as the emperor? So I actually feel like the outcome here is suggesting that it might not work out between the two of you because as much as this person might feel like you are their emperor or you are their empress, there's a divide here, there's an ending, there's a chasm between the two of you and one person is looking in a different direction, right? It would be different if the cards had shown up like this, where the Empress is looking at the Emperor. That's not how they showed up because we had the Emperor first, followed by the Death card, followed by the Empress here, okay? And so, hold on, I got it the wrong way. There we go. I'm holding it up the wrong way, you guys. There we go, okay? So that's what we've got here. That's how the cards came out. And so as much as this person might feel like you are their divine pair, their perfect person, the one that they want to be with, there is a significant ending and there's a significant gap between this connection here with that death energy that is causing a separation. And so my sense here is that this person, they've it really feels like a fantasy land, if I'm being honest with you, Leo, where they've built up this idea in their mind that you're going to be this, this perfect pair and that you guys are going to reconcile or you're going to be together. 
but I feel like you are not as interested in this. And there's a little bit of a fantasy energy, which is creating the intensity. And I feel like, and this is not about you, Leo, but I wonder if your person has a bit of a tendency to do this, to kind of like create a fantasy idea of what relationships are and really put this on a pedestal. And they're coming in with all these grand gestures. And I, I'm just seeing a lot here that feels like somebody who has their head like in the clouds, but doesn't necessarily have a realistic sense of what effort it would actually take to fix this in order to fix that devil energy. And so I do see you being open to having a conversation with this person. But honestly, I see in the outcome here that there is too much of a divide between the two of you in order to move forward because I just, I don't know, there's something unrealistic that I feel about this person. It's just nine of cups, dreams coming true, the star, I'll make all your dreams come true, I'm everything you've been wishing for. But then we have heavier energy like the devil and the moon and I can't ignore that energy because there is something toxic, there is something hidden. Maybe this person hasn't really acknowledged the true issues within the relationship and they're trying to like brush past them. I do think they genuinely feel like you are like their perfect person here, Leo. I really do think that, but there's something here that's causing a disconnect that I feel is leading to you retreating from this connection and not pursuing this, right? The death card is something that didn't work out. It's something that has ended, is ending, is not working out. And this person here, I'm really drawn in this reading to the fact that the Empress is not looking at the Emperor. She is looking in a different direction because I think she is moving in a different direction after this has come to an end, okay? So that's what I see for you today, Leo. I'm gonna leave it there. If you enjoyed this reading, you know what to do. Please give me a big thumbs up, you guys. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And of course, I wish you so much love and happiness and we'll talk soon. Bye guys.